guys, I just felt like doing a little bit of a chatty vlog today because it's been quite a while since I've done one. And also I've never done one with my Canon G7X, my new camera. The last ones were with my iPhone. So I thought it would just be kind of a fun thing to do today. And I wanted to talk a little bit about some of my favorites as well. I've never actually done an official favorites video, which is something that basically every YouTuber has at least done one of. And I've never really just incorporated on my channel. So I thought maybe this would be a good day to do it. First though, I need to make myself some coffee because this morning I woke up and I had a little bit of a headache and I didn't really feel too great. So I decided to go for tea. So right now I've got these beans, which I don't even remember what they were. They weren't really great beans, to be honest. I love coffee, but you know, I'm on a budget as well. So <laughs> I want to get some like really good coffee beans from someplace at some point, but I haven't done it yet. So right now I'm still going with like supermarket beans. However, it's not just the beans themselves that make a difference. It's also the things you use. And I have used a French press, which is currently dirty, so I'm not gonna show you. But what I'm gonna use now is this little mocha pot, which is a new little toy. And I think I can safely feature this as a favorite as well. I used one of these for the very first time when I was in Venice uh, in June, because it was the only thing our Airbnb had. And I discovered that they really make a good brew. I mean, there's a reason that people for several <laughs> decades, centuries, I don't know how old they are, but a lot of people have been using them and enjoying them for a very long time, and there's obviously a reason for that. Might be a bit complicated to do, but let me show you how this works. So basically you have three pieces to this thing. You've got the top part, which is the part where the coffee ends up at the end, and then you've got these two pieces here. So you put the water in here, you put the coffee grounds in this part, and then put it just like that, and then when you put it on the stove, the water gets really hot, and it turns into steam, and it goes, comes up through this little bit, through the coffee grounds and ends up coming out into here. It, I'm not explaining this well at all, but it comes out through this part and fills up this part, basically. So then you just pour it out. If that doesn't make sense, I'm sure somebody else has explained it much better on the internet. So while that is steaming and preparing, um, I will chat with you guys about maybe some of the books and movies and TV stuff that I've been enjoying recently. So I actually haven't really been watching movies, so I don't know why I said that. I'm not gonna be recommending any movies for you guys. As far as TV, I have recently, my husband and I have gotten back into Castle. It's crazy because it's been so long since I've binge watched any crime drama, but I used to be a huge, huge crime drama TV show watcher. That was a lot of adjectives, but I used to watch a ton of crime drama basically. So it's kind of weird that I'm back into that. And now I'm thinking about all these other crime dramas that I really want to watch. Maybe I shouldn't get too involved though, because I still like cannot go to sleep at night. I'm so scared of my own shadow, but I love it. It's so creepy and it's so good. As far as books, I'm still reading the one that I mentioned in my reading in other languages or reading in different languages video. Les Chevaliers de Maud is the name of it. It's a French book, a young adult fantasy. And I'm getting actually, you know, I'm making some progress <laughs> for once. It's starting to get a little bit easier the more I get used to the style of writing and everything and get a little bit better at French, but it's still quite slow. Definitely slower than I'd be reading it if I was better in French or if it was in English. I've also ordered from Amazon a little something. Wow, the acoustics in this room are so different. I finally ordered the Silmarillion. I've read all the Lord of the Rings and I've read the Two Towers a couple of times, I've read The Hobbit a couple of times, so obviously I'm well acquainted with the Lord of the Rings books and The Hobbit, but I've never read the Silmarillion and I've heard that it's a little bit uh, difficult <laughs> unless you're kind of a super fan, but I am a bit of a super fan, so it's definitely gonna be one that I have a feeling it'll take me quite a while to get through, but um, I'm very excited. But I'm gonna make myself wait to start that one until I finish my French book because Otherwise, I'm just gonna start way too many books and a lot of them are very difficult to read. Let's take a look how my coffee's doing here. Basically, my life revolves around this. Ooh, need to clean my stove a little bit. One app on my phone that I think you guys would really like, I don't know if it's available for Android, but I have an iPhone, so it's definitely available on iPhone. But it's called Where, I think it's Where Is That in English, but my phone's in French, so it just translates it to Oue. But this is what it looks like. So it is basically an app where you can quiz yourself on geography. So some of it is locked. You have to like purchase a, a subscription or something. It's really weird actually. So that drives me absolutely crazy. But a few of them are free and I've absolutely been loving the ones that are free. You can, um, the one that I like so much is just world geography and countries. You can do like capitals and I think like monuments and stuff, but I love the countries one. And I don't know if you heard earlier, but my coffee started bubbling. So it's definitely done. I 
just realized I've been doing this whole video with the light off. So that actually shows you how good this camera is, which I will mention this as a favorite as well because it's definitely worth it. I have the Canon G7X. I know I mentioned it a few videos ago when it was new and I'm absolutely loving it. Like it's kind of an overcast day today. It's, you know, the sun's out, but it's not super, super sunny. And I had the light off until just now. And this camera somehow manages to like find light out of nowhere. It's absolutely incredible. I have to put music somewhere on here in my favorites because I am a musician, obviously. So I feel a bit ashamed if I didn't recommend something to you. Recently at work, um, I listened to Spotify and I found this list in the classical section. If you don't listen to classical music that much, I highly recommend you check it out just while you're working, while you're doing your dishes, stuff like that, and just sort of gradually expose yourself to different classical music um, if you're interested. And this playlist is a really great way to do it. So it's called Composer Weekly. And every week, I don't know who it is, but somebody on Spotify will change the composer and just fill up a whole playlist of some of their best stuff or maybe completely unknown works by them. And you'll have composers like Tchaikovsky, Mozart, I mean, composers everybody knows. But then you'll also have quite obscure composers. So I highly recommend you do that. I listen to it while I work and it, you know, changes every week. So you don't have to put any effort into finding a new composer. I've also really been liking Celine Dion, which is the most cliche thing to recommend. But I've been listening to it because some of her stuff's in French, some of it's in English. And if you just sort of shuffle all of her works, you get a nice little like bilingual mix, which I kind of like. This wouldn't really be a favorites video, I guess, if I didn't mention some YouTubers to recommend to you guys. I've been watching a ton of different types of channels, big, small, anywhere in between, but I'm gonna recommend some sort of medium-sized channels that I've been really liking. The first one is Kristen Sarah, or also known as Hopscotch the Globe, and she and her husband have been doing a Canada series, and I was watching them since before they were doing the Canada series, and I love all of their vlogs, but for some reason, this has just been really fun for me recently. A lot of vloggers, I feel like, sort of leave Canada out, which is kind of a bummer. Another travel vlogger that I've been watching is Hey Nadine, which I have been watching for a very long time, to be honest, but I just recently watched one of her more recent videos about Spain, about Asturias, Spain, and it was just so cool. She edits her vlogs really, really well. As someone who is sort of tinkering with travel vlogging recently, but I've still definitely not got the hang of it, and my vlogs are not nearly as you know well done with all the artistic shots and everything. But I've just been very impressed with some of her vlogs recently. So check her out if you like travel vloggers as well. Non-travel related, but writer related, um, I've been really liking Jenna Morecci. Sorry if I pronounced her name wrong. Let's just call her Jenna. <laughs> if you're a writer and if you're cool with a little bit of swearing, because she swears a lot more than I do in my videos. <laughs> I don't mind it, but some of you guys might. Um, but if you're okay with it, then definitely check out her stuff. She has a lot of really, really good info for writers. I'll just stick with those three. If you guys want to know more recommendations, then let me know if I should, you know, do another favorites video. This one was really fun to make because I didn't really just want to sit in front of the camera and do it because I didn't really have anything to show you. If I had like products and things that I actually could, you know, illustrate for you guys, then maybe it would make more sense. But as it is TV shows and, and YouTubers and stuff, I can't really show you anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely had a good time. Let me know if you want to see more sort of casual type vlogs like this. Let me know in the comments some of the things that you guys have been enjoying as well so I can, you know, find some new stuff to mix it up with. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you very soon.